Hey Gen Chem students, I'm Ben Asman. Today is the last of three experiments about acids and bases. We're going to determine the pH using an indicator and light. Let's get to it. Acids and bases, indicators, and the determination of pH by spectrophotometry. Today our indicator is going to be bromyl cresyl green. We use this because we can exploit the fact that its acidic form absorbs most strongly at 445 nanometers, or its basic form absorbs most strongly at 615 nanometers. Now, as we are using spectrophotometry, we are going to need to use Beer's Law. However, most of the math is going to be a little bit more complicated. You're going to have to remember some of your algebra because you're going to need to solve it by a system of equations. Two equations, two unknowns. The manual does include instructions on how to do this using a spreadsheet program. However, you should at least do one by hand. If you need additional help about systems equation, there's a link in the description down below. As always, we're going to start off by grabbing some reagents. First, we're going to grab some of our indicator. Make sure this is just a little open so you can actually uh, take what you need. Here we go. It's a lovely, disgusting color of green. And some of the sodium hydroxide. Lovely. Grab some of our hydrochloric acid as well. And then each of the unknowns you're assigned. I'm gonna do one, two, and three. Makes my life easier. So we're gonna to need to take our indicator. We're gonna get a 10 mil pipette, pipette bulb, and as always, press on the pipette bulb, evacuate the air, suck up the amount that you need, a little bit too much, let it come down a bit, put your finger on it, let's lower it to the right point, and then add that in. Now I have here volumetric flasks for each one. In your case, you're gonna only have one, but of course, this is mainly just a split screen, so you can see and I don't waste your time doing this five times. Once you have all the indicator in there, we're gonna add in the hydrochloric acid, the sodium hydroxide, and each one of the weak acids. Once again, in reality, you do this one at a time and you pour them out, but uh, to save you some time, we're just gonna show that here. And you're gonna bring that down to the mark. And then the last little bit, you just pipette it just to make sure that you get to the exact correct amount, right there to the line. Once you have that done, you can cap all of them. And then you want to invert several times in order to make sure it is thoroughly mixed. Now you can see the yellow solution is only acidic, blue is only basic, and all of the different variations of green is some combination of acidic and basic. We can now pour this out into a beaker and take it over to be tested. Now we've worked with spectrophotometers before on switching the back, let it heat up. We can adjust the, uh, absorb the absorbance wavelength right here and blank here and then read our reading there. We will need some DI for a blank, some Kim wipes and a waste container as well as a nice clean dry cuvette um, as well as all our solutions. Now because we have to blank it when we change the wavelength, we have to uh, do all of them at one wavelength and then do all of them at another wavelength. So we're going to start in this case at So we're going to start this case at 445 grab our cuvette Top it off with some DI water Clean the sides from any fingerprints And 
as before, arrow forward and zero. Lovely. Pull this waste container. Make sure this is nice and dry. We're gonna start off here with the HCL. So of course you're gonna test each one now and you're going to uh, wash out the cuvette and then dry it and then fill it and then test, repeat, until you've gone through the entire set of solutions. Okay, so now that we have finished all of these, we can go ahead and crank this up all the way to 615. Once again, some DI water here. Fill her up. This is the blank for the second one. And now once again, we're gonna go through all of the solutions, testing, rinsing the cuvette, drying the cuvette, filling back up, Repeat, repeat, repeat until you've gone through all the solutions. That's it. We're done.